I'm here today to talk to you about fan entitlement. So what's fan entitlement? Fan entitlement is the idea that fans have some sort of dominion over their idols. What sort of dominion? Well, let's talk about George R.R. R. Martin. He takes a really long time to write books. And because he takes so long to write books, people start like freaking out and speculating about what could be taking him so long to write these books. I don't know. I don't, why would you even? The most recent bit of controversy has to do with, like, the fact that he may have written the books already and he's just waiting to put them out because he's evil? Maybe we should move. Now the writing industry isn't the only industry that suffers at the hands of fan entitlement. Many other industries, all of them having to do with creativity. I mean, for example, think about the Mass Effect series. Everything's all hunky-dory until the very end when somebody decides, hey, I wasn't exactly happy with the ending. And then some other guy's like, hey, I wasn't happy with the ending either. And then a bunch of guys get on a message board together and decide that they're going to bitch and complain about this thing that was created, not with them specifically in mind, and they're going to make the artists feel crappy about the art they make. It's not a very nice thing to do. Now there are other industries as well. I mean, even athletes have to deal with this. It, it, constant criticism from people who don't have any sort of concept of what it is that you're doing every day to try to appease them. I mean, if you take that much issue with the fact that George R. R. Martin is taking a really long time, maybe it's time to find a new author or a new hobby. Artists are not companies, and you are not a shareholder just because you bought the book. You're not owed any sort of return on your investment. So what is the takeaway from this? Let's face it, friends, artists are not exactly known for their stability. We're cutting off ears and walking into rivers with stones in our pockets and all sorts of really messed up shit. If you want the artist to keep creating the art that you love, support them. Be constructive with your criticism. Artists are people too. We should just be enjoying the art. And if we stop enjoying the art, we should find more art. I mean, there is no shortage of art or artists on this planet. I think what it all comes down to in the end is Wheaton's Law. I mean, if we just applied Wheaton's Law to everything, life would be so much better. Wait, you say. What's Wheaton's Law? Well, friend. If you're on the internet, you should already know Wheaton's Law. Don't be a dick. Do unto others and all that garbage. Just don't be a dick. Now by no means do I think this is a perfect solution. People are going to troll. In fact, some people troll just because they like the act of trolling. I'll never understand that. But for the regular people, don't jump on the bandwagon with the trolls. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say... I'm a writer. I'm a writer going out into the world soon. And I don't want to face that kind of craziness. So if we like nip that in the bud now, that would be super duper. Subscribe and like and things and stuff and share and do the thing also with the stuff. Uh -huh.